For the first time in 25 years, a completely new generation of European weather satellites are being placed into orbit. Meteosat's second generation, or MSG, is equipped with the latest technology for accurate weather forecasting and climate monitoring research. Uh, Scheduled for launch in August 2002, the first MSG satellite will take the place of the previous first-generation Meteosat satellite in orbit. Since the late 70s, these well-known satellites have been watching the Earth from the geostationary position, 36,000 kilometers above the equator, and have delivered more than one million weather images of the Earth, one every 30 minutes. Meteosat has fundamentally changed the way we observe and forecast our weather. Now the advanced instruments on board this next generation Meteosat will provide more accurate and frequent data to weather forecasters. Unlike local data, which is delivered by weather observing stations on the ground, geostationary satellites overlook a third of the globe. Hovering above the Gulf of Guinea, MSG will permanently monitor Europe, Africa and the Atlantic Ocean. Observing the huge area of the seas is essential, as most of the weather in Europe is the result of Atlantic weather fronts. Scientists and engineers at the European Space Agency have developed MSG's main instrument, Severu. It's a sophisticated imaging radio meter that permanently scans the Earth's surface within the visible and infrared spectrum of light. Using a patented three-mirror telescope with a scan assembly and a cooler unit, it generates a high-resolution image in just 15 minutes. The incoming light is divided by the detector into 12 channels, depending on the wavelength where each channel represents a different type of information. In some of the visible channels, clouds and weather fronts can be seen in outstanding detail. The infrared channels deliver information on surface temperature, water vapor content of the atmosphere, and cloud top height. Even the ozone concentration can be derived in high resolution by combining data from different channels. Compared to the first generation Meteosat, the MSG data represents an increase in accuracy and resolution by a factor of 20, resulting in a huge data flow down to the main receiving station on the ground. Combined with weather data from ground-based weather stations, Accurate up-to-date weather maps are sent back from the control center to the MSG satellite and transmitted by MSG to users around the world. Two more MSG satellites will follow over the next decade, guaranteeing an uninterrupted data flow to the meteorological offices and other users. The European Space Agency is responsible for the construction of these satellites and the orbital maneuvers subsequent to launch. Once positioned in orbit, the European Organization for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites, UMATSAT, will take over operation of MSG and its data exploitation and will be responsible for providing Europe's future weather forecasts. This is a while to go over East Anglia and Kent. Then it's sunny and then the cloudy, and then the rain coming. 